I'm Mark Norell, and I'm Chairman of the Division of Paleontology at the American Museum of Natural History. And we have arguably the largest collection and most important collection of dinosaurs in the world. So what we're going to go see today is what we call the Big Bone Room, which is on, in the basement of the, of the museum. And it's called the Big Bone Room because it's where some of our largest and most heaviest specimens are. So that, uh, and a lot of these specimens you know, are things, again, that were collected in the later part of the 19th century up through the 19 teens, 20s, mostly pre-war kinds of things. When we find fossils, everybody always asks us, the most common question is, how do you know where to dig? We never just start digging randomly because fossils are too rare. So you walk a lot through the desert and that kind of thing or wherever you are and you look for little scraps and pieces of bones either coming out of a hillside or on the ground. And then you do some exploratory little like, you know, digging around and just finding out what the limits is. And then if it looks like it's something really good, then we decided to do a big excavation project. So when we do a ex big excavation project, the first thing we do is to try to put the specimen up on a pedestal and just delimit how big the entire thing is. And then after we get that done, then we start going with using a combination of plaster of Paris and burlap to make these things that we call jackets on top of them. And that's the way that we get them home. And then they come here and then they go up to the prep lab, which is on the eighth floor. And we have a whole group of technicians up there who then remove the, the specimens from the matrix that they're in, so the, the bones from the rock themselves. And so eventually they'll look like some of these things, you know, but it's a very painstaking process. I mean, single specimens can take, you know, years to prepare in some cases. That skull is crazy. Yeah, that's all fake. Oh. I mean, one of the big problems with these bones is they're really heavy and they're really fragile. And so that's really been an impediment for people doing scientific research on them through the years. So a way around that with new technology is to be able to laser surface scan these things and then to be able to either like look at them virtually like on a computer screen or to rapid prototype them either at full size or in some smaller size. And I think that in the next decade, Certainly, that's the, we're going to learn a lot more about these really giant dinosaurs because of that. Because where I can look like at a little Velociraptor vertebrae and it's only like this big on my desk, this would take me like an hour to get it up to my office, and then it would take two of us just to like rotate it around to look at the different parts of it and stuff. So that uh, it's, it's it's tough working on these big animals, but I think technology will supersede that. We have, you have, people have a very distorted idea about how big dinosaurs were. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, and that's mostly just because back in the early days of museums, they just collected the big ones for display, mm -hmm. but uh, there's just as many small ones. And these are like uh, mini jackhammers. Oh, God. Jurassic Park. I mean, that was so funny when that movie came out because, like, I don't know if it's if it's true or what is apoc or if it's some apocryphal story, but apparently, like, you know, they did Velociraptor <laughs> because they liked the name, and then when that they showed Spielberg how big it was, he was so disappointed because it was only this long. <laughs> yeah. So they had to go bigger. <laughs>